Hello everybody, this is JD again, and I'm making a recording this time to answer a question. Why am I better qualified for this job of being president, vice, uh, another senator that was running? He uh, sent me an email, why not him? And I think the answer is experience. Being in the Navy, I did 26 years in the Navy. I started to work my way all the way up to Chief. In that process, I was in aviation electronics. I worked on one of the most advanced electronic aviation systems in the Navy of the time in 93 when I retired. I worked on the eye level repair of the E2C aircraft. Advanced computer electronic troubleshooting systems. I worked on and repaired them. I also was in charge and ran nine industrial complexes, naval industrial complexes. And I'm talking about buildings the size of hangars. One of them actually was a hangar. <laughs> it had a lot of shops in it. Okay? But uh, with all my experience that I traveled around the world and I met people all around the world and I've talked with people all around the world and I was always very active in politics. But my views on the American life when I retired is different than what it is now. When I got out of the Navy, I had a very strong aviation electronics background and electronic satellite communication background. Very strong satellite communication background. I turned down jobs paying sixty, seventy thousand dollars a year. I turned down an opportunity to go to Saudi Arabia. I turned down a lot. And I took a $16,000 a year job working on Tinker Toys. Or basically video games in an arcade. As far as I'm concerned, they are Tinker Toys. They're not, they are the simplest form of computer. Your home computer is the same thing. It's a Tinker Toy to me. So, what did that do? Well, it made me an average, everyday working person, and it gave me the experience with my retirement and my pay. I had a modest income. I was doing real well, relatively well. I wasn't, you know, super rich. I wasn't getting those seventy, eighty thousand dollars from my job, plus my Navy retirement. So, I was running, and my second wife, she was working. So we were close to ninety, ninety-five thousand dollars. We parted our ways, and so all of a sudden I lost 35000 out of that. I dropped down to about sixty. then inflation, and Congress raising minimum wage, and everything else getting messed up. Well, basically, I'm barely making ends meet. Now, how does that make me better qualified than Obama and McCain and the other candidates running for president? I'm in your shoes. I'm in the same shoes that you guys are in out there. I've watched my earnings get eat up by our government's mishap. I watched my life get torn away by inflation. I've watched my savings dwindle. I mean, I used to throw in eight hundred nine a thousand dollars a month in savings. Now I'm drawing out of savings every month. <laughs> so basically, the experience I got on this job. The experience I got living. Take a look at my house. Let me give you a, a panoramic view of my house. See if this will work. Okay, there's my wire. You know, there's the window. Okay, a hutch. This is the dining room. That's into the kitchen. This is the di living room over there. And yes, we do have a big screen TV. Uh, you can't see it. And this is the house. This is my campaign headquarters. This computer, that's it. And as you notice, there's nothing down below. So when I'm looking down, I'm actually looking down thinking. Okay? So, bottom line is the experiences I've had since I've been out of the Navy is completely different than anything I experienced in my time while I was in the Navy. I could have got out of the Navy. I could have went into a high-paying job. I could have went into development, Navy, civil service, and all that. Because I did write a course in the Navy that they said was impossible. 
I wrote a five-week avionics course on the E2C aircraft that produced outstanding technicians that were as well as 16 weeks, that performed as well as 16 weeks. The course was so well that Grumman bought it from the Navy so they could use it to train foreign nationals on the E2C aircraft. <laughs> I've had a lot of experience in a lot of different things. I have led a lot of people doing different jobs. But this job that I have done, I started from the bottom, and I've had people over me who have really no idea what they're doing, but yet they're the boss. I've constantly been held back, can't get a pay raise, no matter how hard you try. They have this excuse and that excuse. The only way you get pay raises is you got to walk out the door. That's ridiculous. Well, basically, I live the American nightmare. Because I live the American nightmare, though I chose to, it makes me better qualified. Because when I say I know what you feel, you know I know what you feel because I have gone through it also. That, what's it, that is what makes me a better qualified person. World politics is going to be world politics. It's how you handle the world. That's relatively simple, though most people don't think it is. It is. You gotta va basically observe a lot, see what's going on, and make very sound decisions with the people around you. The president surrounds himself with experts, and that's what I will do. But I will always have your feelings because I experienced it. Obama didn't experience it. He tells you he did this, he did that, he did... Yeah, if you go and check really what he did in Chicago, he lined his pockets. You know where he lives? If I walk into that neighborhood, they would arrest me. Because I don't belong there. I couldn't... Well, I couldn't even afford one of those houses there anyway. I'm like you, everybody. And McCain... He lives a charmed life. Don't let him kid you. The amount of money his wife makes every week is probably more than what he makes all year. So, can they feel what you feel? No. Can they know what you know? No. Do they have the ability? No. That's why you need me. Because I'm going to put you first and because I have walked in your shoes. Though through my own choice I did it, but I needed the experience so that as president I could bring you to the White House. I want to thank you all for listening to me and all of you out there who are supporting me. I want to say thanks. Pass me on. Remember, I am running for president and with your help we can do it. Thank you. And I got to get down and do some writing. I got to write my platform down. You have a nice day. Remember, I am looking for a very strong campaign manager. Because once I get the campaign manager and we start raising money, we're going the next step. We're going national, and I'm going to visit you. Have a nice day. This is JD. But if I don't get a campaign manager, I'm broke. I got no money. Like I said, I'm taking my money out of savings. What used to be fifty thousand dollars is down to three. That's right. So support me, pass me on, and if any of you know of a campaign manager, send him my way. A good one. Thank you again. This is JD for president.